Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Mouse's Halloween Party. This book is written by Jean Modisett and illustrated by Robin Spowart. So this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. You can see it says Mouse's Halloween, Halloween Party. Okay, let's get started. Mouse's Halloween Party. Mouse's Halloween Party. This is the title page. It was the day before Halloween and Mouse was very excited. He had just asked Mama if he could have a Halloween party and Mama had said yes. Mouse danced on one foot. His party was gonna be the best Halloween party in the world. Can I invite Hedgehog? Mouse asked Mama. Of course, said Mama. And Squirrel? Absolutely. And Bunny and Mole and Pig? Mama smiled. You can invite them all, she said. Mouse jumped in the air. Yippee, he said. Wow, he's really excited, isn't he? The next step was to go to see his friends and invite them to the party. Mouse put on his Halloween costume and skipped out the door. What's he wearing? Superhero costume, maybe? His first stop was Hedgehog's house. Mouse knocked on the door and Hedgehog and his papa opened it. Can you come to my house tomorrow at four o'clock? Asked Mouse. I'm gonna have a Halloween party. Hedgehog looked up at his papa. Can I, papa? Hedgehog's papa nodded. Sounds fine to me, he said. Hedgehog turned to Mouse and smiled. I can go, he said. Good, said Mouse. See you tomorrow, bye. Next, Mouse went to Squirrel's house. Then bunnies, here's squirrel, here's bunny, and then mole, here's mole. All three said yes, they would love to come to Mouse's Halloween party. Good, said Mouse to each of them, see you tomorrow. Finally, Mouse arrived at Pig's house. Mouse knocked on the door and Pig and her mama opened it. Guess what, said Mouse to Pig, I'm having a Halloween party tomorrow at four o'clock. And Hedgehog and Squirrel and Bunny and Mole are all coming. Can you come too? There will be lots of games. And my mama is making Halloween cupcakes. But instead of saying yes, Pig started to cry. Mouse's eyes opened wide. Pig, what's the matter? Don't you like Halloween parties? Pig's mama put her arms around Pig. Pig, do you want to tell Mouse why you're crying? Hmm, why is Pig crying? I don't know. Hmm. Pig turned to Mouse, her cheeks wet with tears. I, I was gonna have a Halloween party tomorrow too, she said. A look of surprise came over Mouse's face. You were, he said. Pig nodded. Two big tears fell from her eyes. I. I was going to invite a hedgehog and squirrel and bunny and mole and you. I even made everyone Halloween presents and mama made Halloween cookies. It was going to be the best Halloween party in the world. And with that, Pig let out a fresh burst of sobs and ran from the door into her room. Pig's mama patted Mouse's head. Don't worry, she said. It's not your fault that Pig is so upset. Maybe she can have a Halloween party next year. And she said goodbye to Mouse and closed the door. Wow, Pig wanted, is gonna have a party the next day too. Mouse turned away from the door. He felt sad that Pig was crying. He walked home and told Mama what had happened. When he finished, Mama kissed him. I'm sorry Pig is so sad, she said. Mouse sighed. <sighs> Me too, he said. Mouse leaned against Mama for a minute then said, I think I'll go outside and swing for a while. He walked into the backyard, sat down on the swing and pushed himself off the ground. Back and forth he swung, back and forth. Then all of a sudden, Mouse came to a stop. He jumped off the swing, ran inside the house and called out, 
Mama, Mama, I've got an idea. Later, Mouse was again knocking on Pig's door. Pig and her mama opened the door. Pig's eyes were red from crying and she was sniffling. Mouse danced on one foot. He was very excited. Pig, I've got a great idea. You and I could have a Halloween party together. Pig stopped sniffling. Together, she asked. Yes, said Mouse. We can invite Hedgehog and Squirrel and Bunny and Mole to a Halloween party at the park tomorrow. I'll bring my games and my mama's Halloween cupcakes and you can bring your presents and your mama's Halloween cookies. What do you think? A wide smile filled Pig's face. I think that sounds great, she said. Good, said Mama. You wanna come with me and tell everyone about our party? Pig looked up at her mama. Mama smiled down at Pig. Go ahead, Pig, she said. Pig reached out to take Mouse's hand. Come on, Mouse, she said, let's go. And off the two friends went to invite Hedgehog and Squirrel and Bunny and Mole to the best Halloween party in the world. And here they are. They're playing games, they're going down the slide and they're eating cookies and cupcakes. And there's some presents. Hmm, what did they dress up as? Maybe a wizard? Maybe a ballerina and a superhero? Looks like an angel over there. The end. And here's some cool things. There's some games and pin the nose on the pumpkin. But maybe these are mouse's games. The end. So friends, this book was called Mouse's Halloween Party. Thanks for joining me for story time, friends. And I'll see you next time.